Jimmy, how are you? <laughs> enough. Ha <laughs> ha, that's enough, Jimmy. All right, now where is Lucy and Matthew? Hello, George. Hello, Auntie. Is Lucy and Matthew here? Yes, they are here. I guess they are watching TV. Come in. Thanks, Auntie. This is so boring. Let me change the channel. No, no, don't. But this, this is so stupid. No, it's not. The shows that you watch are stupid. Not this one. Did you just say, who is it? It's me, guys. Open the door. Hey, George. Hello, Lucy. What are you guys doing here? I was waiting for you at our spot. I'm sorry, George, but Matthew is zoned up in front of the TV. Matthew? But I missed the show yesterday because of Lucy. She didn't let me. And you're going to miss the show today too. Huh? Why? Oh, you forgot again? Don't you remember that we have Bible classes today? Ouch, I'm sorry. Just give me a minute. I'll get ready soon. And you, Lucy? I'll be back in a flash too. Ha ha ha! We are ready. Let's go. Come on. We have to rush. It's almost nine o'clock now. Come with us, Jimmy. Hurry up! Is Father John going to tell us the story of Isaac today? I think so, and maybe he will tell us the story of his sons too. Wow, the story of Isaac's sons? It's going to be amazing. Yes, but we must hurry up if we have to catch the full story. Hurry up, Matthew. The class is going to start soon. Good morning, children. Good morning, Father. Hmm, I see that everyone is here. Shall we begin today's class? Yes! Alright, but before we begin, who can tell me where we stopped yesterday? You told us how God tested Abraham by asking him to sacrifice his son Isaac. And did Abraham pass God's test? Yes, Abraham was about to sacrifice Isaac, but then God stopped him. And what did they sacrifice instead? God gave them a ram. They found the ram with its horn locked in the bushes. That's correct. And back to the story now. Isaac grew up and he took charge of all his father's land and animals. Father, we must find new land for the sheep to graze. The grass at the river bank is almost getting dried up. <laughs> we will, son. But we have to get you married first. Mm. There are a lot of women here in Canaan. We can find one easily. No, my son. I don't want you to marry any of the Canaanites. We have found a suitable bride for you from my homeland. Huh? Who have you selected, father? You will get married to my brother Nahor's grandchild, Rebecca. Rebecca? Yes, and she's beautiful. You will like her. And when is the, uh, the, the wedding? Oh, you're blushing. <laughs> soon, my son, soon. Isaac married Rebecca as his father wanted. Many years passed and Abraham passed away. 
Isaac became the head of the family and owner of great wealth. He remained faithful to God. He and Rebekah remained childless for many years, and he kept praying to God, and one day God granted his prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Rebecca, my dear, look, we've got twins. <laughs> yes, my dear. Even though they are twins, they don't look like each other. Look at our sturdy firstborn. Yes, he looks strong. I'm sure he will be a great hunter and a leader one day. Pumu. Nana. <laughs> I'll call you Iso. <laughs> well, what of the second child? Oh, he's smaller and has smooth skin. When he emerged from your womb, he was grasping the heels of his brother. Ha! Huh. He is a schemer. I shall call him Jacob. Baba. When the two boys grew up, Esau became his father's favorite because he was strong and was very good with hunting. Jacob was a quieter child who liked to study and learn things. Jacob was his mother's favorite. Jacob spent most of his time reading books even while looking after the sheep. <sighs> What? Got you, little brother. <laughs> Esau, no, put me down. <laughs> put me down, I said. Stop, stop. You can jump down if you want. I'm going to tell mother about this. All right, cry baby. Here you go. One day, Jacob was preparing soup with the help of his mother, Rebecca. No need of stirring any more, son. Shall I take it off the fire, mother? Yes. Let me go inside and cut the vegetables. Mmm. This smells delicious. There comes my brother, empty-handed as usual. Ha! <laughs> Hello, brother. What are you making there? Didn't you get anything today? No. I think the beast have learned the trick. They just vanish when they hear my footsteps. <laughs> oh, so should they stand around waiting to be hit by your arrow? You are a fool. Ha. <laughs> ha. Well, I know what to do. I will catch a deer with my trap tomorrow. Is that so? Then maybe we will have a feast tomorrow. That is tomorrow. Right now I'm starving. What are you making in the pot? It's nothing. Just making some soup. Ah, smells nice. Give me some, Jacob. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Then you should have hunted down some animal. Brother, there is no game in all the land. Let me have some. I'm starving. No, we weren't expecting you. There's only enough for... I'm really hungry, brother. Give me some soup and you can ask for anything in return. Did you say you'll offer anything in return? Yes, you can ask for anything. Do you want a horse? No, I don't need a horse or a camel. I... I... Just say what you need and I'll give you. Hmm. You can have all the soup you want. But... But you'll have to give me your birth, birthright. Birthright? Is that all you want? <laughs> I knew you were stupid. <laughs> so you don't mind giving up your birthright? <laughs> no, no. You have my birthright by all means. Well then, make an oath to God that it is mine. And this full pot is yours. All right. By the God of Abraham and Isaac, I swear to give Jacob my birthright. That's it. Now give me the soup. Here you go. Hmm. This tastes so good. Thus, Esau carelessly gave away his birthright as the firstborn son of Isaac.
Isaac had grown old and he lay in his bed for most of the time. His eyesight had grown weak too and Isaac knew that he would die soon. Who? Who is there? Is it you, Ezel? No, it's me, dear. Rebecca, my love, come here. What is it, dear? Rebecca, I think my time in this world is nearing an end. I must speak to Esau. Where is he? Don't worry, dear. I'll fetch him for you. Father, shall I come in? Oh, you're here. Come in, my son. Did you ask for me, father? Yes, I did. Come here. Father. Iso, I think my time is up. But I have one more desire. Just say what you want and I'll get it for you. I'm craving for a dish of venison. Can you get me one? Of course, father. I will. You will have the dish by evening today. Thank you, my son. I knew you will get me this. And after I have the meal, I shall bless you. Thanks, father. I'll be back soon. No, Jacob should be the one to receive his blessing. I must do something. Jacob! Jacob! Mother, why are you running? What happened? Your brother? Your brother? Huh? What about Esau? No! Your brother has been sent to a hunt game. By whom? By your father. And when he cooks the Verizon for your father, then he will give his blessings to him before he dies. Oh no! What can we do now, mother? Jacob, bring a lamp. A lamp? What are you going to do? Get them quickly and I'll tell you. Mother, here I've brought the lamp. What are you going to do? Clean the lamp quickly. We will make the dish and you are going to take this to your father. And he will give me his blessings. Wow, that's a brilliant idea. But we must hurry up and do this before Isu gets back. But mother, wouldn't father recognize me? I have smooth skin and Esau is hairy. Do what I say and leave the rest to me. Do not throw away the lamb's skin. We will need that to cover your hands and neck. Now, wear these Isu's clothes. Ah, they are stinking. Ugh, this smells of sweat and animals. And so must you. Now hold out your hands. Now these will make your hands feel hairy. Do you think these goat skin will fool him? I'm sure. Now take the food and receive your blessing. And remember to talk in a deep voice. Oh God, don't let father recognize me. Who's there? Father, it's me, Esau, your eldest son. <clears throat> I've brought your dish as you had asked. Really? But you sound like Jacob. Come closer and give me your hands. I'm not Jacob. I'm your eldest son. Here. Hmm. You've got hairy skin. You are Esau. But how did you return so quickly? Uh, mm, it was God. He put a game in my path and I got one. Now, will you eat? <clears throat> now, will you eat, Father? Yes, this could be my last meal. Hmm, this is delicious. Have some more, Father. Hmm. That's enough. Father, you promised me a blessing. Come closer, my son. Ah, the smell of my firstborn. 
May the God of Abraham bless you abundantly. May the kingdoms honor you. May your brothers serve you. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Now you must rest. Huh. Father, Father, who, who is it? It's me, Iso. Please get up and eat, Father. Iso, what? Didn't I just eat and bless you? What? Well, I just brought you the game you asked for. Who was it then that haunted the game and brought it to me a few moments back? I, I don't understand. Yes, I ate it just before you came in and blessed him. No. Oh, I should have known when I heard that voice. It must be Jacob then. Oh. I know now that your brother came and deceitfully took your blessing. Uh, that Jacob, he's rightfully named the schemer. First he took my birthright and now now he took my blessings too. Father, haven't you got a blessing for me? I am sorry my son, but I can't give you the same blessing. I'm really sorry. As soon as my father die, I will kill Jacob. Ha. Huh. I must ask Jacob to leave immediately. Rebecca warns Jacob and asks him to go to Haran. Jacob fled from Esau to Haran with the blessings of his father. But he was never going to see his mother again. And that night God spoke to Jacob. Jacob, do not be afraid. I am the God of Abraham and Isaac. I shall give this land to you and your descendants. I will always protect you and bring you back to this land. Huh? What have I dreamed? Surely this is the dwelling place of the Lord, and I didn't know it. This place is blessed. Certainly, this is the house of the Lord. I'll call this place Bethel. If God protects me and brings me back, he alone will be my Lord and God. After making the oath, Jacob continued his journey. Now, I fear no one. The Lord is with me. And after many days of traveling, Jacob finally reached the city of Paddan Aram. Excuse me. Hi. Do you need any help? Oh, hi. I I was drawing water for the sheep. It's uh, it's Don't worry. I'll help you draw water from the well. That's so kind of you. Uh, uh where are you from? Haran. Do you know Neho's grandson? Of course. He's my father. Is your father's name Laban? <laughs> yes. Wow. I'm your relative. My name is Jacob. I'm the son of Rebecca, your father's sister. You are Rebecca's son? That's wonderful. I'll go and tell this to my father. Yes, I'll wait here till then. Father, father. Yes, dear. What is it? Father, there's some wonderful news. What is it, dear? Your sister's son is here in town. What? Did you mean Rebecca's son? <laughs> yes, and his name is Jacob. Where is he? Is he outside the door? Ask him to come in or I'll come out. Wait. No, he's not here. He's waiting at the well outside the city gates. Then I must go to him. I'm going there now. Rebecca's son. 
Ha ha ha! I can't wait to see him. Are you Jacob? Yes, I am. I assume you must be Laban. My own flesh and blood. Welcome, Jacob. Thank you, Uncle. Oh, I can't explain how excited I am to see you. Let's walk home. Tell me, son, how is my sister Rebecca? Hmm. She was doing fine the last time I saw her. When did you see her last? About a month ago. What happened, my son? You look sad. Uh, it's a long story, uncle. Don't worry. You can tell the whole story on our way back home. It's been 30 days since I left home. And then, by God's grace, I found your daughter outside the city gates. That's the story, uncle. I have told you everything. Hmm. You have been through many hardships, Jacob. But do not worry, my son. You should forget the past now. You can start a new life here. Oh, Jacob, you are here. Meet my sister. Her name is Leah. Hello, Jacob. Hello, Leah. Everybody, let's go inside. Jacob decided to stay with Laban for a few days. And Laban was glad to offer shelter to his sister's son. It's getting really late. I will tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. But before I leave, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Shall I? Yes, Father. All right, Matthew. Yes, Father. Tell me the names of Isaac's sons. Mm, their names were Esau and Jacob. Who were older among them? Esau was the firstborn father. That's good. And now you, Lucy? Yes, Father. Who was Isaac's favorite son? It was Esau. Then why did Isaac give his blessings to Jacob? Jacob dressed up as Esau and lied to his father to get his blessings. That's right. And now you, George. Yes, Father. How was Jacob and Laban related? Jacob was the son of Rebekah, who was Laban's sister. And what were the names of Laban's daughters? Mm, it was Rachel and Leah. That's correct. All of you have done quite well today. I will tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. See you tomorrow then. Thank you, Father. Good morning, children. Good morning, Father. Did you all like the story of Jacob I told you yesterday? Yes. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm glad you liked it. Do you have any doubts from the story? Father, I have a doubt. Yes, Lucy. Father, why did Jacob receive the blessing even though Esau was the firstborn? That's a good question. Mm, sit down and I'll answer your question. Usually the paternal blessings are given to the firstborn. But Esau had given his birthright as the firstborn to Jacob. And that's why Jacob was able to receive the blessing. Do you remember how Jacob got the birthright? Yes. One day when Esau was hungry, he spoke the birthright to Jacob in exchange for the food Jacob had made. That's correct. He was always a schemer. And that's why he was named Jacob. Does anyone remember what the name of Jacob means? Jacob means the one who grasps the heel. Hmm, that's correct. And why was he named that? Because he was holding the heels of his older brother when he came out of his mother's womb. You've got that correct. Good one, Matthew. Now who can tell me about the promise that Jacob made at Bethel? Me, me! Yes, George, tell me. When God spoke to Jacob at Bethel, he realized that the place was a gateway to heavens. He swore an oath that he will come back to the same place. He also swore that the Lord will be his only God. Correct. And where did he go from there? He left for he ran from there. That's very good, George. All right, let me continue from where I stopped yesterday. Hey, you little one. Here, eat some grass. 
Oh, so you're not hungry. Jacob stayed at Laban's place for 30 days. He looked after Laban's sheep while he was there. During his stay here, Jacob and Rachel grew quite close to each other and Jacob fell in love with Rachel. I have brought you some water. Oh, you don't have to, you know. Don't you drink water? Yes, yes, I meant. I, I mean, uh, thank you anyway. Here then, have this. Hmm. Did your father see you coming here? I met father on my way here. He said he'll be coming here soon. Hmm. He doesn't usually come here at this time. Did he say why he's coming? I don't know. You can ask him yourself. There he is. Hey, Jacob. Hello. Rachel, your mother was searching for you. I'm going there now. Bye, Jacob. Bye, Rachel. Jacob, sit down. I have to talk to you about something. What is it? Hmm, I can see that you're doing great work with the sheep and on the farm. Thank you, Jacob. Oh, that's all right. No, no, Jacob. I appreciate your hard work. But just because you are my nephew, you don't have to work for nothing. I'm ready to pay you. No, uncle. I can't take any pay from you. Oh, Jacob, we can do that. I have to give you something in return for your work here. Hmm. I think... I think I'm interested in something. What is it? Go on, tell me. If you let me marry Rachel, then I shall work for you for seven years. Huh? Hmm, fine. I'll let you marry Rachel. I'd rather give her to you than someone else. Oh, thank you, uncle. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you. Jacob worked very hard for seven years. Years passed by and Laban got richer and richer by Jacob's hard work. One more month. It's just one more month and Rachel will be mine. But Laban was making other plans to deceive Jacob. He tricked his father. He tricked his brother. I'm going to get him this time. At the end of seven years, Jacob approached Laban for marrying Rachel. Laban agreed and arranged a wedding feast. <laughs> this is wonderful. Here, have some more wine. Oh no, I've had enough. Come on, drink it up. This is a big day for you. All right. Here you go. Ha <laughs> ha. I have to get him drunk today. And here, have a little more. Uh, okay. Can you... Can you take me to my tent? I want to go to my tent. When Jacob was drunk, Laban took Jacob to his tent. Come here, Jacob. Here you see a wife. My wife, my love. Due to the intoxication and darkness in the tent, Jacob didn't realize that the woman was not Rachel. It was Leah. Good 
गुड मॉर्निंग लिया वॉट यू डूइंग वेर इज रेचल डोंट यू रिमेम्बर विद मी ये नो दैट के नॉट बी आई बीन चीटेड वेर इज योर फादर he he is in his tent good morning jacob you you cheated me jacob let me why did you do this to me you knew i worked for 7 years for rachel why i'm sorry son but it's not the custom in our country to marry the younger daughter before elder one You should have told me that before rather than cheating me like this. Calm down Jacob, calm down. I let you marry Rachel too. But But what? But you'll have to work for me for another 7 years. Huh? Another 7 years? Mm. It's just another 7 years Jacob. Think about it. I will arrange for your marriage with Rachel in a week's time. All right. I agree. I will work for you for 7 more years if you give me a Rachel. It's done. He <laughs> he, I fooled him again. And as Laban promised, he got Rachel married to Jacob. Jacob, from now on, you may have Rachel also as your wife. Under the supervision of Jacob, Laban's flocks, sheep and goats multiplied tenfold. Leah gave birth to many children and Rachel gave birth to a boy, who they named Joseph. Those were the days of contentment for all of them. But all this while Jacob wanted to return to his land with his family. Hello Joseph. Papa. Nana. Haha. <laughs> I love you so much. You seem very happy. How can I not be? I have a beautiful wife and great children. I am so lucky to have all of this. Hmm. But I know you. You want to return to your land for many days now. Yes. I want to go back to my land. Then why don't you talk to my father? I am. I am going to talk to him. But when? You've been thinking about this for many days now. I'll talk to him today. Here. Hold him. I'll go right now and talk to him. Good luck, dear. Hey, Jacob. Why are you here? Who is looking after the sheep then? Rachel is taking care of that. I came here to talk to you. Talk to me. What's so important that you left the sheep and came here? It's important. You must listen. Hmm. All right. What is it? Please listen patiently. I've been thinking about telling this to you for many days now. Go on. Tell me, Jacob. I want to return to my homeland. I want to go back there with my wives and children. What? But but why? Aren't you happy here? I am happy, but I want to return to the land promised to my forefathers. But No, you can't just leave like that. I am sorry but I have to go. Hmm. Then stay for a while longer. I will pay you whatever it takes. Okay, I will stay if you can pay me for my labor. Name your wages and I'll pay you. All right. Then you shall give me from your flock every black, speckled, spotted animal as my wages. All the white ones will be yours. That's uh, it's all right. I will give them. Then I'll stay. It's done then. Get back to your work. He is asking for too much. I will trick him again. He <laughs> he. 
Laban had become very greedy and he wanted to keep the entire animal for himself. He decided to trick Jacob again. Rachel, I'm going to the city. I'll be back before sunset. He's gone. Come on, sons. Where are we going, father? To the farm. It's our farm too. Why are we hiding then, father? Because Jacob must not know what we are doing. What are we doing, father? Will you shut up and just do as I tell you? Is that difficult? I'm sorry, father. Huh? Come here, you black one. Come on, you fools. Get inside and get all black, spotted or speckled ones. Father, you are brilliant. You are catching the black ones so that we don't have to give Jacob anything. Yes, I'm not giving Jacob anything. These are all yours. Laban did not want to give anything to Jacob. So he picked all the black, spotted and speckled animals and gave them to his sons. But when Jacob came back and saw the farm, he realized he had been cheated by Laban again. Huh, Laban, he cheated me again. What happened, dear? What happened? It's your father. What did he do this time? See this, there are only pure white sheep in this farm. He took all sheep that should have come to me. Oh dear, I'm sorry for what my father did. And your brothers, they keep saying that I stole all their wealth. But why? They are the ones who are stealing here. I think we'll have to escape from here with whatever we have left with. Else they will come back and take all what we have left. I think we should leave today itself. Let's go back to your father's land. Yes. My father's land. You are right, Rachel. Let's leave tonight itself. The next morning, Jacob left with his wives, his children and all his belongings. He was traveling towards Canaan. Ah! Ha! Huh. There, I got you. Are you all right? Yes. Come on, let's hurry. I knew he was a cheater. Father? Father, he took all our sheep too. He must have left two days ago, the thief. Father, I can see his footprints. Then we shouldn't be standing here anymore. Come on, let's follow the prince and we'll catch him. He couldn't have reached far. We can catch him in a few days. Come on, sons. Laban kept following Jacob for seven days. But on the seventh night, he received a message from God himself. Laban, you should not touch Jacob. You shouldn't even say an unkind word to Jacob. Yes, my lord. Please, please forgive me. After a few days, Laban caught up with Jacob. But Laban remembered God's warning. And he was afraid of harming Jacob. You thought you could escape from me and my sons? I didn't try to escape. All these are mine. You only had a few skinny goats when I came to you. All that you have earned is because of my hard work. Don't start now. I would have killed you if the God had not stopped me. You should. At least now, you have learned that there is God to protect the weak. Hmm. All right. Now that you know that God is with us, let's make a treaty today. Treaty? What treaty? A treaty that you will never cross this monument ever to harm us. I would never want to see you ever again. I'll make that promise. I swear by the name of the Lord. Laban went back after making the promise to Jacob. 
Jacob then continued with his journey towards Canaan. Jacob then sent a messenger to Esau, informing him about his arrival. But when he returned, he had some bad news to share. Oh, Master, Esau has sent an army of 400 men against you. What shall we do, Master? Hmm, 400 men, is it? We must divide the flock into two groups. Yes, Master. Half the family will go with one and the other half in another group. That way, if Esau attacks one group, then the others can escape. Ah, oh, that's a good idea, Master. All right, go and tell this to others. That night, Jacob prayed to the Lord, thanking him and praising him for the favors he had shown Jacob since he left his father's house. He also begged God to intervene and stop Esau from attacking his family. Please, God, please help us from Esau's attacks. Who? Who are you? You mustn't ask. Ah! Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah! Why? Please! Ah! I'm tired of this running! I will not let go. Ah, ah, no, I will not let go. I am not running anymore. Ah, ah. You will no longer be called Jacob. You will now be known as Israel, which means the one who wrestled with God and prevailed. <laughs> I have seen God face to face and yet I live. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, oh, my leg hurts. I have to go on. I am ready. Ready for Esau or anyone in this world. Don't be afraid, dear. I'm not afraid. I have you. Jacob, you're here. It's been a long time. Where were you? Esau. My brother. Don't worry about the past, my brother. Thank you. You must meet my family. Are they your children? Yes. God had been kind to me. And what about the flocks of sheep and goats that I saw on my way? Yes, they are mine too. God has blessed me abundantly. And the camels and the cattle? Yes, but you must accept them as my gift to you. Oh, -ho! no, no. I have all the wealth I need. You may keep them. Please don't say no. You must accept them for my satisfaction. <laughs> I don't need gifts from my brother. Now come on home. I will, brother. And so Jacob returned to the land of Canaan and made peace with Esau. Father, how many children did Jacob have? He had 12 sons and a daughter. So children, did you all like the story? Yes, Father. Shall I ask a few questions then? Yes. George, tell me the meaning of the name Israel. It means the... One who wrestled with the God. Is it correct? Yes, it's correct. Sit down. Matthew, here is the last question. Yes, Father. What is the message that you get from the story of Jacob? Mm, the story of Jacob teaches us that God always protects and looks after the weak. That's right. Good one, Matthew. It's time for me to leave 
गुड बाय चिल्ड्रन डोंट बुश टू हार्ड जोसेफ एंड इट्स फिनिश वाओ दैट्स वंडरफुल जोसेफ Matthew, Matthew, where are you? I'm here. Hey, what are you doing? Can't you see I'm playing with Joseph? Who? Oh, I made a new friend while you were playing your stupid game. His name is Joseph, and only I can see him. Stupid. Oh, you think so? Then you can go away. I'm having so much fun playing with Joseph. Oh, come on, Matthew. Come on, Joseph. Let's go somewhere else. You're sorry. Now come on. What's going on here? Father John. Father John. Good, Good morning, morning, Father. Father. Matthew's angry at us for not playing with him. And now he has made up an imaginary friend and he is refusing to play with us. Oh, an imaginary friend. Is this true, Matthew? Uh I I What's the name of your friend? His name is Joseph. Wow. You know in Bible there's a story about a Joseph. a man who could interpret his dreams really and his name was joseph yes his name was joseph the son of jacob was he the son of jacob who was known as israel right lucy i can see that you haven't forgotten the story i told you the other day father was joseph really able to read his dream yes children do you want to hear his story Yes, father. All right. Sit down then. Joseph was the first child born to Jacob and his favorite wife, Rachel. With the birth of Benjamin, her second child, Rachel died. Jacob loved Joseph the most, which made his brothers jealous. Ugh. This is heavy. Oof. It's so hot today and it's not even noon yet. Hmm. Yes, it's getting hotter every day and all our crops are dying. Don't stand there and talk. We have to finish this by evening. Yeah, we can if our father's pet will help us. Hello everyone. Why are you here? Nothing. Father asked me to check on the progress, so I came here. Father's little bet has come to check on our work. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Why are you angry with me? Leave. Leave me. Uh, father is expecting you to have this field harvested by sunset. We can finish this field by noon. If you can help us I can't do that. I have to go to other fields to inspect. He is younger than all of us. Why should we take orders from him? And it's done. Is that for me, father? No, son. It's for your brother. It's a gift for him as it is his birthday today. Father, will I get a same one when I get older? Haha. <laughs> of course, dear. I'll get you one when you're 17 years old. I don't know what their problems. <sighs> wow. This is amazing. Do you like it, son? It's it's wonderful. Joseph, this is a gift for your 17th birthday. Oh, thank you so much, father. What is that? What? 
Look at Joseph's coat, you fool! Wow! Our father must have given this to him. And we are here to work like slaves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I had a strange dream last night. Oh, shut up. We are not interested in your dreams. Stop it. Joseph, tell us about your dreams. I dreamt that we were each tying up our sheaf of wheat. And when we had finished, your sheaves of wheat bowed down to me. Did you mean that we bowed down to you? So, you want to rule over us? Is that so? I... I don't know. What did you mean? None of us will ever let you be our king. All right, all right. Just forget it. I'll tell you about another dream. What? You rode a flying camel? <laughs> <laughs> or were you flying yourself in the skies? <laughs> Maybe one of us will kick you so strong that you'll end up flying. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps I shouldn't bother. Come on, Joseph. Okay, I dreamt I had climbed a mountain. I looked up and saw the sun the moon and the stars and they all bow down to me that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> but father why are you entertaining joseph's fantasies you must have patience son if it is the will of god then we'll all bow down to joseph ha i had enough it's because you always favor him that he has such grand delusions. Judah, come back. Joseph, go to Shechem and see how your brothers are doing. Yes, father. It's a long journey, so it would be better if we can leave by tomorrow itself. Sure, father. I will leave tomorrow at dawn. Good. You should be back in 12 days, God willing. Don't worry, father. No harm will come to me. Following his father's instruction, Joseph left for Shechem. He traveled for many days and finally reached where his brothers were working. Oh, look who's coming. The dreamer? Perhaps we should all bow down to him. Our father's spy. I'd like to break his bones. Ha! Huh. I say we kill him today and get rid of him forever. Brothers, listen. We could throw him in that empty well over there. No one will ever know. No, but we cannot kill our brother. We are not gonna kill him. Shut up. He's coming. Oh, leave me. Made in Egypt, is it? Just for father's pet. Ha! Huh. Leave me. What are you doing? You think you can rule over us forever? Hold him, guys. Leave me. Uh, leave me. Come on, guys. Stop. He's our brother. Stop. Stop. No. Uh, stand aside, you. Leave me, please. Let us know if you have a dream. Ha ha ha. Now, throw him. <laughs> oh. So, it is done. Brothers, help me. Hey, look. There are some merchants coming here. Somebody help, please. I think they have heard Joseph shouting. Why don't we sell our brother to these merchants? This way, we won't be accused of killing the dreamer and we will get few pennies too. That's a good idea. Come on, throw him a rope and let's pull him out of the well. 
The brothers sold Joseph to the Midianite merchants for 20 pieces of silver. And the merchants took Joseph to Egypt as a slave. Brothers, please don't let them take me. Ah, uh, stop crying and start walking. I'll break your leg if you try to escape. Ah, ah. But how could you? Selling our own brother. It's unheard of. Nah, this is better. Remember that we were about to kill him. He's still alive, no? What are you going to say to father? Hey, look. I took Joseph's coat and I drenched it with goat's blood. Ah, that's great. Now we can make up some story on the way. Come on. Uh, at least he's alive now. God, please help him. Joseph's brothers dipped his coat in the blood of a goat and took it to their father. No! No, no! I think... I think the wild animals attacked him. What have I done? Oh, my son. My son, apple of my eye. Months later, the Midianites reached Egypt and they took him to the slave market for selling him. Fifty pieces of silver. Hundred pieces of silver. One thirty. Three hundred pieces of silver. What? Who is that? Who said three hundred? Come to the Fred, please. It's me. 300. Anyone wants to race on that? 300 once, 300 twice, and 300 final. Sold to Potiphar, the commander of the royal guards. Don't worry, you'll be taken care of. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? And how did you end up here? It's Joseph, master. Joseph told his story to Potiphar, the commander of the royal guards. Potiphar was kind to Joseph. Joseph was assigned to work in the field at first. Joseph worked hard and this pleased Potiphar and Joseph was quickly promoted to various positions. Years passed. God blessed Joseph and he succeeded in every assignment he did. Potiphar was very happy with Joseph. Joseph, we had a fantastic crop this year. Our neighbors got nothing, but your work helped us to double ours. Thank you, Master. It's all a blessing from God. I'm pleased with your work, Joseph. From now on, you are going to be in charge of my household. As you wish, Master. Keep up the good work, Joseph. You may leave now. Thank you, Master. He's so handsome. Wish he would at least look at me. Hmm. Ever since Joseph came to the city, Potiphar's wife had been secretly admiring Joseph. And one day, when Potiphar had gone out of the city, she decided to call Joseph into her chamber. S Joseph? Here, Joseph, look here. Hello, madam. Hush, Joseph, I need to talk to you. What is it? What happened? Shh, come inside my chamber. Mm, can't we talk here? Come on, don't be shy. All right. Come in, Joseph. I... I... What's the matter? Joseph, I am tired of this life. My husband is a great man, but he's never home. He never has time for me. I... You must understand that my master is busy with many things. He's an important man. Stop! No, stop it! I'm going! Joseph, come here! Stupid! 
I will make you pay for this. Potiphar's wife decided to take revenge on Joseph, and she lied to Potiphar when he returned. <laughs> That stupid Hebrew slave. <laughs> Joseph? Yes, Joseph. He he came into my chamber the other day. He did what? Yes. When I was alone, he came into my chamber and I ran out screaming. Look at this. It's Joseph's tunic. How dare you, Joseph? Potiphar put Joseph in prison where king's prisoners were kept. Why God? Why is this happening to me? Don't worry Joseph. You could have done nothing. She's a bad woman. What can we do? She's the wife of the commander. You are very kind sir. God will protect the innocent. After many years the pharaoh of Egypt called upon a meeting with his chiefs. The pharaoh was having troubling dreams and he was looking for someone to interpret the meaning. But no one was able to offer any help. Is there nobody, nobody in the whole of Egypt who can interpret, who can interpret my dream? My lord, may I? Who are you? My lord, my name is Jayla. I'm your chief warden. What do you have to say? My lord, there is a Hebrew prisoner in my ward who can interpret people's dream. When I was in prison, he interpreted my dreams and it happened just the way he explained. Hmm, bring him here. Maybe the prisoners are better than my ministers hanging around. So, you are the one my chief warden recommended? What's your name? My name is Joseph, my lord. My warden says you interpreted many of his dreams. Can you do that for mine too? My lord, it is God who sends dreams and he is the one who reveals the meaning. May I hear about your dreams? I'll try my best to interpret it. All right, I had two dreams and in the first one, I saw that there were seven healthy cows grazing by the river. But all of a sudden, seven lean and ugly cows came out of the water and they swallowed all the healthy ones. What do you think? Can you tell them what that meant? Hmm, can you tell me about your other dream? Hmm, I dreamt that seven heads of grain Healthy and sleek were going on a single stalk. After them, seven other heads of grain sprouted, thin and scorched by the wind. The seven thin heads of the grain swallowed the healthy ones. Both dreams mean the same thing. God has revealed to you what he is going to do. The seven fat cows and the seven heads of grain mean that seven years of great riches will be coming to Egypt. But this will be followed by seven years of famine, and many will die. Hmm, what do you think I should do? I think you should save the grain from the years of plenty, and you can use them later during the famine. You should appoint someone who can do this work. Thank you, Joseph. But I don't think I can find another man like you who's so filled with the spirit of the God. You shall be chancellor and all my people shall respect your orders. Thank you. Thank you, your majesty. Here, take this ring. From now on, in all of Egypt, only I will be greater than you. You are generous, my lord. Thank you so much. Like Joseph foretold, after seven years of abundance, there was no rain after the seventh year. There were no crops and the animals died of starvation. But Joseph had collected one-fifth of land's crop and he was saving it for the famine. 
People from different lands arrived at Joseph's doorstep to buy the grains from him. One day, when the drought became severe in Canaan, Jacob sent his sons to buy some grain. His brothers also arrived at the doorstep, not knowing who Joseph really was. Do you think he will give us the grains, dear? Hmm, I think so. People say that he's a kind man. I hope our father is right in sending us here. Yes, I hope he will sell us some grain. Shh! Keep quiet. He's here. Bow the knee before Joseph, the Chancellor of Egypt. Why are my brothers here? I must teach them a lesson. Give the grains to everyone except those few. Make them stay back. I have to ask them a few questions. Who are you? Are you spies? No, my lord. We, we are poor Hebrews. Twelve sons of the same father. We, we... There are only ten of you here. I know that you are lying. My lord, one of us is no more and youngest one is with our father. And the youngest one is with our father. It's true. We are not spies, my lord. Stop lying, you spies. Commander, put them in prison. Now! Have mercy. Please, my lord. No, please don't. My lord, please, please let us go. Our father, our brother, they'll die if we don't return. Please let us go. We are just too poor. We are just poor Hebrews, not any spies. All right. Now stop crying. I'll let all except one to leave from you. You can take the grains too with you to Canaan. Bring your youngest one here. And I know you're honest people. Only then will I let the last one go. Only Simon remained in the jail and all other were let to go. When the brothers returned, they brought Benjamin along with them as Joseph had asked. Joseph was overjoyed seeing Benjamin, but he didn't want to reveal himself. He invited them to his dinner table and gave them a lavish treat. But when the dinner was about to get over, Joseph asked his chamberlain to take his silver cup and to hide it in Benjamin's sack. <laughs> Ooh, I thought I was going to die in there. It's a miracle that he let us go. Brother, look, the soldiers are following us. Huh? Show us your bags. Sir, sir, we were just uh, let go by your master. It's he who asked us to search you. His silver cup was stolen this evening. But, but we don't know anything about that. It's here, sir. I've found it. You don't know anything, huh? You are going to be hung for this. My lord, I brought the thieves. No, my lord. I didn't steal anything. Please, don't kill us, my lord. Please let us. There is no one to take care of our father. I didn't do anything. Please let us go. Please, please. Benjamin, my little brother, don't you still recognize me? You, you, you are jo Joseph. It's you. Yes, my little brother, it's me. Joseph? Our brother? But it's really you. We are really sorry, brother. Don't feel sorry for yourself. It was God who sent me here to save many lives. Joseph was finally reunited with his family. Their father, Jacob, was brought into Egypt and he was delighted to see his favorite son. Father, did Joseph have any children? Yes, they were named Manasseh and Ephraim. Wow, that was really good. 
<laughs> I'm glad that you like the story. Father, aren't you going to ask us any questions today? No, my child. It's already late and I should leave now. Bye.